finding the right needle is a challenge and is a decisive factor for good embroidery results. In this video, needle producer Gross Beckert and embroidery machine manufacturer ZSK are combining their know-how to explain differences in needle types and to find the ideal needles for different fabrics and yarns and embroidery projects. Hello, my name is Martin Sibben. I work at ZSK as a service engineer. Today I'm joined by Fred Schneider, who is working as an application engineer at the sewing laboratory at Rods Beckert. Thank you for being with us today, Fred. Thank you very much, Martin. I'm very happy to be here and I will try to explain some important needle aspects to our customers together with you. Let's start with the needle packaging. The label on the needle packaging gives a lot of information about the needle. But many customers do not know what all these letters and numbers mean. Fred, what can you tell us about the needle packaging? Yes, indeed. There is a lot to learn about it. I will focus on the three main details which are important for our customers. At first, we have the needle system. That is the name of the needle. And in this case, it's DBXK5, which is a common needle system for embroidery machines. Then we have on the right top corner, the needle size. And that is indicated in the number metric system, NM, and also in a numbering system. And the numbering system is preferably used in the Asian markets. And then we have the point star, which is on the left bottom corner. And in this case, we have the FFG point. But of course, there are many more informations on our package, like material number or the production lot number. And then we have our data matrix code. And with the data matrix code, our customer can check if this is an original Godspecker product. But of course, there are some more information and I don't want to go too deep into details. And for those who are interested to have more information, they can go to our Godspecker website or our customer portal. Now we have learned a lot about needles, but how do we select the right one? There are two decisions to be made by our customer. Needle point style and needle size. The correct point style depends on the material. Do you have knitwear fabrics like polos or t-shirts or do you have woven fabrics like shirts and blouses? The needle size depending on the thickness of your fabric and on the size of your embroidery thread. A too thick needle may cause any damage in your embroidery good. A too thin needle may cause excessive thread fraying, thread breakages or even skip stitching. From our experience, a needle size range of NM65 to NM75 is most suitable for knitted goods like t-shirts and also for woven fabrics like shirts. If you're stitching any thicker fabrics like caps or workwear, then a needle size range of NM75 to NM90 is most suitable. We often hear about needle points like FFG, R and RG. So can you explain us the differences? Sure. Let me explain the three most common used needle point style for single and multi-head embroidery machines. The R point, the FFG point and the RG point. So the R point is a slim, round and sharp point style and is best suitable when you're stitching any woven fabrics like shirts and blouses or when you're doing fine lettering on leather or woven fabrics. Then we have the FFG point. The FFG point is a ballpoint style and is best suitable when you're stitching knitted goods, when you're doing, for example, logos on shirts or t-shirts. And finally, we have the RG point. And the RG point is a more universal usable point style and you can use it for every kind of fabric. If you have knitwear, if you have woven fabrics, if you have leather goods. The Archie point uh, combines fabric protection with a very accurate stitching of your embroidery design. Thank you, Fred, for your explanation so far. You're welcome, Martin. But let's have a look on the needle itself. And I want to explain some more needle details by using our needle model. When we look at the needle, we have following parts. We have the shank, which goes into the needle bar. Then we have the needle blade, which contains the long groove. And the long groove is a channel to protect the embroidery thread while the needle is penetrating through the fabric. And then on the opposite side of the long groove, we have the scarf. And the scarf 
is an area where the rotary hook is picking up the embroidery thread from the needle. Then of course we have the needle eye and the tip. But now we have talked a lot about the needle. And now it comes to your turn how to insert the needle into the machine. Maybe you can help us and what to consider. Of course, let's go over to the machine. To insert the needle, push the shank into the needle bar and align the long groove to the operator. For that, you can use a magnet to see if it's straight. If it's straight to the operator, you can tighten the screw and the needle is inserted correctly. Thank you, Martin. That was very helpful. It was a pleasure to have you here, Fred. If you want to have more information about the embroidery needle, visit the Grotzbeckert website or their customer portal. If you want to have more information about the embroidery machines, visit the ZSK website or our YouTube channel. And for your next embroidery job, remember the importance of the needle.